I'm Jasmine, the editor of Men Come Net. I've really enjoyed being at the booth all day, getting to meet everyone. We've had loads of new sign-ups and just getting to know what they like about the website, what other content they'd like, and planning all my post-ACS ones. Well, what I really enjoyed today was um, catching up with old colleagues. Um, over the years, volunteering at ACS, I made a lot of friends. So every time I round a corner, I see someone new that I've met over the years at conferences. So it's been a lot of fun, a lot of good socializing, and um, I look forward to SciMix tonight um, with all the poster sessions. Uh, I think that this is uh, a great scenario to, to present your work uh, with so many people around the world. So well organized meeting and so much opportunities. Uh, I really enjoy it a lot and uh, I look forward to the next one. Exposition Hall. Hello, I'm Freya and I'm the editor of Bridge Mednet. And my highlights from ACS Day 1 have been learning more about functionalized scaffolds for tissue regeneration. So on Rage Mednet we cover tissue engineering quite a lot, but it's mainly from like a cells point of view. So it's been really interesting to learn sort of what goes into producing a scaffold um, out of graphene or hydrogels or stuff like that. So I think what I've enjoyed the most about ACS is actually the exposition because it gives us a lot of opportunity to interact with schools, look at all these cool instruments that we might get to use someday, and also get to ask key questions and network with them. The poster sessions too to learn what other people are also researching at this given time also spreads light that this isn't just something that's small and minuscule, it's a national thing. So what I've enjoyed most uh, is the opportunity to see so many other researchers that are working in the rare disease space. It's really surprised me actually, I was in a session that had four uh, other, other speakers all talking about their own research in, in uh, rare diseases. And it, I think it really speaks to uh, the direction people are taking in terms of looking for uh, drugs that are actually uh, targeting these, these diseases with huge unmet need. Uh, and what was really encouraging was to see just how far things have progressed and to see that nearly every talk that I've seen has presented some degree of clinical data. It's fabulous to see the progress.